Hello and welcome to another Wednesday whiteboard training video. I'm Isaiah Henkel with Cheeky Scientist and today we are talking about the truth about PhD unemployment data. Uh, there's a lot of misinformation out there about how well PhDs are doing in terms of getting into a job after getting their PhD or soon after doing a postdoc. Now, a lot of universities and a lot of lifetime academics will tell you that there is no problem. They'll tell you to look at SED or SDR data. So this is uh, earned doctorate, uh, survey of earned doctors or survey of doctoral recipients. And they'll say, look at this data, look at the report, the unemployment statistics are really low for PhDs. Um, the problem is, is that they are counting postdocs, which is not employment, according to any government or even any uh, university institution. It's actually a training position, and it's a very low-paying training position. So number one, they're counting postdoctoral positions, and number two, they're, they're not counting underemployment. Okay, underemployment, what would that be? It would be a PhD going into a job that doesn't require their PhD. It'd be a PhD going into a job that doesn't justify all of the time and training that they did to get their PhD and certainly to go on and do a postdoc. Um, so it's really important to understand that the numbers in terms of PhD unemployment and underemployment are incredibly high. Okay, in fact, 60% of all PhDs will end up unemployed or in simple training positions being paid half of what they're worth. And if you're a life science PhD, it's even worse, 80%. 80% of all PhDs, uh, this should say all, all life science PhDs, 80% will end up unemployed or in training positions. So when you look at unemployment and underemployment or training positions that are not employment, they are training positions where you're getting paid half of what you're worth, uh, worth this is where most PhDs end up. And it doesn't take a, a genius to know that there's something wrong with the system um, in terms of getting PhDs into careers where they use their PhDs and where they're paid what they're worth. Now, if you take into account, again, underemployment, postdoc training, uh, a lot of other factors that these surveys don't account for. Uh, for example, countries outside of the US are not inclu included in these surveys, and if they are included, those are unemployment numbers skyrocket even more. If you have a PhD, you probably, you probably know this. You look around, you see, you get your PhD, um, and your options are abject unemployment or a low-paying postdoc. And you get into a postdoc position, and you think you're gonna spend one or two years in that postdoc position, but you end up spending five, six, seven, or more years. Uh, there was a time not too long ago where a postdoc was not even required to get into a professorship. But now, 0.45%, only 0.45%, that's one in 222 PhDs, will go on to be a tenured professor. The professorship career track is broken, it's dead. So what happens now is that PhDs are encouraged to do a postdoc, and they stay in those postdocs for, again, five, six, seven years, even up to a decade, and then they're given a research position, a research staff position, right, or a contract position, a non-faculty position where they change the job title, but essentially it's a postdoc. And the problem is, is that these universities are paying postdocs very low salaries. In fact, the national average for the US is only $46,000 a year for all postdocs, that's the average. Um, even though the NIH guideline for a zero year postdoc is 47,000. Okay, so you have to understand that the truth is out there in terms of what PhDs are being paid. Um, you can't let, whether it's lifetime academics at universities or doctored survey data, you can't let it make you think that you're just gonna get a job once you get your PhD, or once you do a, a postdoc for a year or two that there's gonna be lots of jobs out there for you. Just a couple, couple of examples here, if you look at this data down here, uh, if you go to a lot of university sites, they'll show you where PhDs end up. Now this first number is from Vanderbilt University, and for PhDs that got their PhD in 2011 to 2015, Less than 12% went on to get full-time industry jobs where they're paid what they're worth. And the average for a PhD in industry is $91,000 a year. I know it's hard to believe that, that PhDs in industry get paid that amount, but they do. Okay? The problem is, is that very few PhDs were able to make that jump because there's very little training in universities for getting business jobs, industry jobs. Instead, where the majority of them end up? In postdocs 
or in non-faculty staff positions. The same is true for this number here. This is from the University of Te uh, Texas Southwest. From 2000, 2000 all the way to 2015, that's 15 years, less than 15% of those PhDs went on to get business jobs, full-time industry jobs. Instead, most of them are still in postdocs or non-faculty research positions. That is awful. Again, because you're being paid half of what you're worth and you're staying in those training positions for years and years and years. And you can see here finally with this final piece of data we'll look at, in 1981, there was less than 20,000 postdocs according to the survey data, 20,000. Now, today, there's greater than 60,000. Greater than 60,000 postdocs, okay? It's, and it's increasing exponentially. And if you look at this data, which we didn't go over, so I guess I'll show you one more piece of data. Um, the increase in PhDs year over year, for the US, some years, it goes up 20%. As in the number of PhDs granted this year versus last year increased by up to 20% in the US. In some countries, it's up to 40%. More and more PhDs are being produced. No training is being done to help them get into industry jobs where they're paid well. And as, as a result, there's a pile up of postdocs in academia. So the reason I'm showing you this data is because I want you to know that the academic career track is dead. No matter what anybody else tells you or however they doctor the survey data, a lot of PhDs, most PhDs end up unemployed, underemployed, or in training positions. Now the good news is your PhD is very valuable, it's just not valuable in academia. You can transition into an industry job where you leverage your PhD, you actually use your PhD, and you're paid what you're worth. Again, the average for a PhD, the average salary for a STEM PhD in industry in the US is $91,000 a year. You can't make that jump, you just have to make sure that you're changing your mindset from a academic mindset into an industry mindset. And if you're interested in learning more on this, you can go to phdsgethired.com. Go to phdsgethired.com and you can visit our website too, cheekyscientist.com. Uh, so until, until next time, remember your value as a PhD and start thinking and acting like a successful industry professional.